Hey everybody, welcome to RGB Animation. My name is Seth, and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of Toon Boom Harmony, but specifically, the cutter node, and how I use it in relation to building character rigs. So let's open up Harmony right now. Um, we can go down into our scene. Um, as you can see, I've, I've got two shapes in my window. I've got this black box here um, that I've labeled my image. And I've also got this white mask shape that I've created representing my mat. So to start off, let's import a cutter node. So if you right click, go insert down to combine and you can bring in the cutter this way. So in our cutter node, you can see we have two inputs. On the left side, um, there's an import for our mat. And on the right side, there's an input for our image. So why don't we go ahead and plug in our cutter to our image. So not much exciting happens. Um, but this is because we are missing part of uh, our input. We need to input the mat image as well. So we can unplug our mat from the composite for a moment. And if we plug it into our image, you can see what the cutter node actually does in our scene. Okay, so wh what happened here? When we plug in our mat to the cutter node, um, it essentially, as the name dictates, it cuts um, the shape out of the image. So our mat now is kind of creating this mask, masking effect within our black box. So this is really cool. It's super useful for a lot of things in Harmony, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later on in this video. But there's more to the cutter node than just that. Um, we can also come over to our cutter node again. And if we double tap this little mask icon on the left, it'll invert our mask. So now, as you can see, our black box is only showing up in our matte shape. Like so. Now, Whenever we're building characters in Harmony, a really good um, workflow is to not just import cutters and leave them like this. We will want to name them. So generally speaking, um, what I like to do is label it so that I know what's cutting what. So for this, I would say um, my mat is cutting my image. And this way, whenever myself or somebody else needs to go into my node view and check out what's going on, they can easily read what's happening and they don't have to go fishing around and trying to figure out what, it, what is cutting what. So this is a really cool tool by itself but why don't we dive into a character rig and see now how it actually affects the different elements of a character. Okay, so we've opened up our character rig and now we can check out how our cutter node actually affects a character. So if we look at our, our character here, um, it's pretty simple, but we can actually dive into his build and I'd like to show you guys how the cutter actually affects um, his eyeball. Now if we zoom in, we can see that his eyeball is being split into its different components. And we use the cutter actually to affect the pupil and the eyeball relationship. And so I can show you just like with our mask and our black box that we had in the other scene, when we move around our pupil, it's going to be bound within our eyeball shape. 
just like that, which is super useful because we don't always want the pupil to go outside the shape. Now let's see what happens if we unplug our matte layer from the cutter. So first it looks like everything's fine, but as soon as we start moving the pupil outside of the eyeball shape, you can see it's suddenly showing up on top of the face, which we don't want, right? This is exactly why the cutter is so handy in this situation. If we plug it back in, you can see now it's confined again to that eyeball. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you've learned something. I will include the Harmony scene file for this cutter tutorial in the description of the video and uh, have a great day.